All right, what's going on, Dark and Darker Dungeon Delvers, and welcome to the Warlock Reveal. This is the official next class on the way for early access, along with questing, new items, new abilities, and more. We've had all the Warlocks out and about gathering the information, the screenshots, and compiling it in the official Discord, so pull yourself into the Warlock discussion by giving yourself the Warlock role. And we've already pinned all their base stats, abilities, perks, spells, and more. So without further ado, this is the Blood Pact Caster. You're going to be sacrificing your health every single cast. You have infinite casts, which is new for the casting classes, but you're going to be taking 3 HP and damage every cast, hit or miss. But with the Torture Mastery perk, you're going to be getting health back from life leech on spell damage especially from the curse of pain as we will see in the video so without further ado we'll dive into the video and then we'll go over the uh the new set of gear for occultist the new kind of weapons and armor can use borrowing from the ranger but it looks to be one of the strongest classes in the game early game and more than likely the strongest naked class in the game for wipe hype we also have some new class items and possible quest items, new icons for resurrecting, and other new icons, which are a mystery. Let's dive in. So right away, we can see he ate 3 health in damage off of the base 96 HP pool. And he's getting it back over time. Also one of the coolest looking classes in the game. So here he used Sacrifice, so he ate the three blood pack damage, and then he's also taking damage over time to gain an immense amount of strength. That's going to be insane on Barbarians as well, early game, and Fighters. Not the, not the best time to use it, though. You're definitely not going to want to use that spell on yourself for a single PvE kill. Not when you can just knock that out with a sword or hit it with uh, a curse to gain health back and do damage over time. A big thing to note here is that he's gaining health above his rested health amount. So it acts as a straight heal. The life leech is going to heal well beyond the amount of rest uh, HP possible to return on a short rest. Also has access to the Falchion, so it's going to be a very strong debuff curse class and a strong melee class. So you're going to want to stack strength on this class for sure. There he is stacking the strength already. Giving it to the fighter, probably a good idea. I mean, look how fast his cast times are, and he's, he doesn't even have good gear. Shot by the race. So here we will see the, the first item in use that's not going to heal him. Pay particular attention to the health as he gets zero health back from the bandage, and later he will get zero health back from the health potion. So Torture Mastery is going to be a dangerous perk to take. No healing from consumables, but Life Leech on spell damage. This is going to be a very high skill cap class.
preloading the Curse of Pain. That's gonna miss, he's gonna eat the health damage. A second miss. That is where the biggest skill cap is going to come from. Missing your spells will damage you. And choosing when to use the power of sacrifice, you're definitely not going to want to use that in PvE in my opinion. Unless you're combining it with Curses of Pain, then maybe. It does look to be an insanely strong PvE class to me. Good block right there from the fighter. Really good block. That's probably death if he didn't block that, too. Gotta love those life or death clutch moments. That was a miss. It looked like it was it was good, though. I mean, you can see the hit reg and the skill cap here. Gotta look down to not get hit by the arrows. There's our first new item, moldy bread. That could very well be a quest item. We know the Iron Mace developers confirmed that they wanted to have questing for early access. And it was likely going to be an escape from Tarkov style system. That's just going to be a go-to spell. So what's interesting there is it kind of looks like he, when the monster died, he stopped gaining health back. So you kind of have to cast that on the early side of the fight to get the full amount of health back. Good job dancing there. That would have been death, I think, if he got hit. Yeah, he only got one tick of health back there. Definitely want to use that early and often. I wonder if it works on multiple targets. Because if you can tag three or four skeletons, pulling them back to your group, and you're getting that life leech on all of those, you're going to be able to get a lot of health back quick. It's going to be a good class to sort of pull PvE and then engage in PvP. Almost like, like a little bit of a necromancer vibe to it. Especially if you do some Curses of Pain pull toward other players and then use an invis pod to swap aggro. It's fun to see the magic orb paired with a sword. It looks deadly. It is so risky to play Warlock without a Cleric, if you have Torture Mastery. It's just suffering health loss here. There it is, finally gets a tag, three or four misses. miss but it was damn close really good attempt ball of maggots right there what's interesting is the lantern is now a secondary weapon and the torch has become a utility item
That was a horrible time to open a chest. If, if either of those are a mimic, you probably just killed your warlock or your fighter here. Really dangerous time to open chests. Okay, a couple portals. Barbarians in the kill feed are popping off with the felling axe, double headshot. <laughs> Always want to be trying to heal and be full as the portals arrive. You know other teams are going to be looking for those portals as well. Plus the swarm is going to be pushing them toward mid. Yeah, I would say right here they've had a successful run. It's probably time to leave. Unless the ranger has a campfire and then they could pressure Inferno, but it would definitely be a, a high risk play. Good hit there. This is his go-to spell for sure. Alright, what's going on Dark and Darker Dungeon Delvers? I'm proud and pleased as a peach to introduce Madrinas, our partner for the future of coffee. It's going to get you pumped up and ready to dive into those dungeons, especially with the new class, the Warlock. And right here you've got the Dark and Darker Limited Edition. Use my creator code SOBADSTRANGE and you'll get 20% off and I'll get 10% kickback. Everybody wins. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> a nice friendly fire really nice and here we can see two items that he doesn't actually scroll over but uh, there is an adventurer skull or maybe a monster skull and then some unknown other item and both of these are going to be likely quest items as well although there's been some speculation in theory crafting that the maggots could end up being a spell reagent and it would be the first time we need something to cast a spell maybe a high level warlock spell requires maggots it would make sense as well. Same with moldy bread. But uh, we don't know what this is. This could also be uh, maybe some sort of zombie bone dust or skeletal dust that we'll need for the intro quests. Whatever it is, it's apparently of no interest to the warlock. Maybe he's already completed that quest. Also be curious to know if quest items are tradable. You never want to leave when your partner hasn't left yet. Looks like a barbarian went into Inferno by himself. Also very low health, but uh, barbarian as we know, especially with the Terror Axe build, since you can fear the majority of monsters in the game is an extremely strong contender for an Inferno, and they can clear Inferno naked at level 1. Nice new torches. Very Warlock-esque and demon-like. Alright, here you probably want to lock this in the... Okay. Alright, here I would say you would want to lock that in that module since you're so low health, or uh, use fear to get into a corner. Alright, that is the end of the video. And we, we have the new Resurrect icon as well on all the characters who are dying. That shows the cross to let the priest know it's time to res your teammate. And you can now customize once again from the main menu, so more than likely we will see a return for early access of the Veteran Adventurer points in order to buy skins like the skeleton or the elite skeleton or the elves or whatever else is on the way. Hopefully demons will be a skin that we can purchase as well now that we've seen demons as a monster inside of Inferno. Warlock just looks insane. They nailed that one. And they nailed 
the theme of the class in my opinion it's very dungeons and dragons it's really really well done phenomenally done and uh so without further ado um i mean that's basically the end chat but uh here it is we've got a lot of new items we've got uh the maggots and the moldy bread we've got this which we don't know and this which we don't know but highly likely these are quest items in my opinion slot type invalid it means you can't put it on the utility which means you can't actually eat the moldy bread or more than likely use the maggots so i would say that all four of these are probably quest items and since they were naked and low level they're probably doing the intro series of quests from the merchants and then just going into some items for the warlock to round the video out they cannot use hand crossbows unfortunately this would have been an insane warlock item and we saw that they could use the warden outfit which made me think they shared a lot of things with the ranger but i in the end i think it's just going to be a bit tankier than the rogue and hit a lot harder than the wizard and then spell wise it will be more in line with the bard as sort of a debuff buff kind of class but uh, all around it, it seems very well balanced already, in my opinion, especially since the spells initially, such as Weaken, will only reduce the base stats. So this will be extremely strong early game and then sort of fall off toward late game unless you can buff this, um, you know, with some sort of stat line or an increased attribute. Either way, it's going to be great um, for, you know, certain classes. This is going to affect Cleric the most since Cleric is one of the few classes that uses every stat line in the game. Although now it, it kind of appears as though Warlock will also use the majority of stats to me. Just a really good uh, jack of all trades and a phenomenal naked starting class. I would say Warlock plus Cleric plus Barbarian or Fighter is going to be um, more than likely a new meta that's being established. Also, I think it's going to be a bit harder to friendly fire on the Warlock compared to the Wizard. So it'll be a little bit more user friendly. But just as far as skill cap goes, it'll be placed just below the Wizard. I would say Wizard is one of the hardest classes in the game to use, and then probably Warlock will be up there as well. Just knowing when and where to use your Curse of Pain and your Powers of Sacrifice. And also it's a caster, so inherently if you've got that book out and someone's pressuring you, it's probably all over. Um, also, this class doesn't look like it has a movement speed ability, so it's going to be a little bit more dangerous to use than the Wizard, who can use Invisibility or Haste to escape and or chase. And so join us in Discord. And talk about the Warlock. Enjoy the new set of Occultist gear. I'm excited. I feel like early access is on the way. There's a little bit of hype. Some buzz in the air. And July the 19th is the Korean court case judge's decision on the Nexon injunction to allow Iron Mace to continue operating as normal. With the, I will see you all for the next one. Please comment, like, subscribe, and love as always. I appreciate you.